Yo, what's up? Today we want to talk about um, the importance of why you want to try to get faster. You know what I mean? Like some people are like, speed doesn't matter and all that stuff. But I think speed, speed is important. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's like, ah, these guys are speed monsters. All they do is scratch fast. Well, I mean, if you have speed, you can balance it out with slow stuff too. You know what I mean? So anyway, we're going to talk about how to get speed, how to get speed. We talked about it before, but we're going to kind of talk about it again because it kind of has something to do with this subject I want to touch upon. It's called cleaning up your stuff. And I noticed yesterday I was doing a combo for you guys and it was, um, you know, I was, I was kind of like, why is it, well, how come it's not like fluid, right? And so it was kind of, this was the combo from yesterday. The guy called it a flart. <laughs> so it goes like this. It goes... All right, so I'm using the outside of this, right? But what if I move it in? Like I move it in. So now listen to it. It's a lot smoother, all right? So it's like a boomerang. So if, let's let's use the outside of the boomerang. So I'm using the tip of the boomerang. Right? Now, but if you move the record in just a little more in, it sounds a little smoother. And you could you could do both. You can question and answer with a tip, and question and answer inside. <laughs> that sounds funny. But you can hear the difference, right? One is a little sharper, and one's more smoother. So I was like doing that combo yesterday, and I was like, "Oh shit! I think it's I think it's meant to be scratched on the inside." <laughs> that sounds funny too. Let's see who's in the chat. Trip Master, what's up? Andrew Norman, what's up? DJ and live, Petty Cash, Rich, Kool Aid, what up, man? Tell uh, um, tell your son what's up. Reese, Reese rocks, Scratch Cat, you know, you know. KG's Zing, MT Green. This guy said, "Speed is my kryptonite for sure." What do you mean by that? Is that like it's it's hard to go faster? So if if you wanna um, get some speed. You got to like, uh, 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 you know, it's kind of like, uh, I, I always say this, when you're at the gym, you got your partner and they, they pump you up like, come on, give me a couple more, give me a couple more um, pr bench presses. Come on, let's go, let's go. You know, you got to have that, a little bit, that mentality of, of energy exchange. So if you're by yourself, you just got to be like, let's do this, come on, let's do this. So the easiest way for me when I was getting faster i would start off with a slow beat right this beat is a little faster but you'll you'll get the idea let's say let's say i have a i don't know okay let's just slow the beat down now i wanted to learn my stabs right like you just do that until you do the beat real slow until you're comfortable with a certain speed like you know and then after you get used to it after like whatever five minutes just speed it up a tiny bit just a little bit, so you don't even notice it. See, I, I moved the pitch control up just a tad bit, and I don't even notice it. Right, and then you move it up a little more after another five minutes. Move it up so you don't even notice that you're moving it up, all right? And then you won't even, you're like, whatever, it's the same tempo the whole time. Like, you don't even notice it. You 
know, another five minutes, move it up a little bit. You get the idea. So just keep on doing that and doing that and doing that. And after every day goes by, you're going to be like, damn, I'm, I'm super fast now. That would be for me the easiest way to get faster is you just do that. I remember um, this guy, DJ King Tech. He goes, yo, I go, man, how did you get fast? And he said the exact same thing that I did. I was like, oh, okay, you did the same shit too. You move the pitch up real slow, just a little bit gradually where you don't um, see a difference in the speed. It's like you're tricking your mind to be like, oh, that's the same tempo. And as you keep doing it, then you can do it at any speed. And that's what's important about speed because any beat some DJ plays you, you can scratch to it. And that's important. Sometimes I'll see DJs like, oh, I can't scratch to that because I can't, you know, blah, blah, blah. They always have fun, like some excuse. They can't scratch to this certain beat because of this and that. It's like, man, what the fuck? If you if you're gonna be a musician, you better better be able to blend in with everything. It's like Bruce Lee, right? He you know, be like water, blend in with any kind of beat, and that's kind of like the goal and shit of being a, a real scratch musician. Blah 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 blah. You already know this. So this guy said, uh, Trip Master Monk said, I suck at anything 140 BPM. Well, then you gotta work on if you if you're okay. That's that's a, a very good point right there. Let's say you're you suck at 140 beats per minute. Then go to your Go to your best beat per minute. What's the fastest you can scratch, Trip Master Monk? Let's say the fastest Trip Master Monk could scratch to, I'm, I'm assuming maybe 135, 130, right? Then you put your beat to, you put your beat to 135. Let's get this to 135, or let's look for a beat that's 135. Just real quick, just real quick. Let's say, let's say. A beat that's 135. So if you find a beat that's around there, uh, this is a very easy problem to fix. You just gotta, um, you just gotta get something close to it, all right? So let's see. Your fastest beats per minute is, let's see. I remember when I was a kid, I wanted to go super fast, and yes, this is the solution right here. You go to your fastest beats per minute. Let's see. Here you go. This is like a around 133 right here. Right, so it's, it's that right there. It's like this 133. You just scratch your your fastest with this. Right, that's that's your fastest you can go. Right, it's like oh, I can't get faster than that. It's also a mental thing, so you have to tell yourself I can scratch that fast. If you tell yourself that, your freaking atoms in your body will believe you. Your atoms in your body don't know anything but whatever you tell it. So it's like a hypnosis. You just tell yourself, yes, I can scratch fast. You just tell yourself that. All right? Once again, you do the thing. It's at 130, whatever, 135, 133 right now. You just move it up a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. You won't even notice it. You're just going to be thinking you're scratching at that same tempo. Then after another, once again, another five minutes. Just move it up a tiny bit. It still sounds the same to me. And just keep going. Another fucking five minutes goes by. The reason why I say five minutes, because when I was a kid, we didn't have this type of shit. We had records. So the beat record would play. After five minutes, the beat record would be over. You got to grab the needle and put it to the beginning. So every time we did put it back to the beginning, we move the pitch up a tiny bit. Right? It still sounds the same. I can't even tell. I, I can't even tell that I moved the pitch up. And then there's going to be a point, the more you move it up, after a while it'll be like, like, it, damn, it is kind of getting fast. You know what I mean? It is kind of getting fast. Then you got to, like, say to yourself, the guy at the gym... The guy at the gym that's helping you, like, give me some more. Fuck it. Go. Fuck that. Let's go. Come on. Do this shit. That's when that shit comes in. That's when the true champs come in. The true champion mentality comes in. It's like, man, fuck that. You ain't a pussy. Let's go. And that's when that shit comes in. And that, that gives you that energy. There's a lot of shit to give you energy. Sometimes, sometimes you stub your toe. Use that energy. Remember that time you stubbed your toe? You're like, fuck out. Ah! You put that out on the scratching. A lot of energy shit can be put out through any door you choose it to go through. Like, let's say you you have a, um, let's say you're angry, 
right? But you can let that anger out through laughter, and you can laugh. Do you ever notice that when you're super angry and something something makes you laugh? You can laugh like a motherfucker because you're just tra- channeling that energy to laughter. You can channel it to any door, a positive door, rather than a negative door, like with anger, that's kind of like a, a negative thing. You could transfer that into, we're going to do this, let's go, kind of like a more like a, like a, like a, a fun thing, right? So tran- transfer that energy of, fuck that, I ain't no pussy, let's do this, yeah! Kind of make it fun. You make it fun, and then you fucking go and get your scratches in. It's like, then you got another guy there, like, let's, well, pitch control up a little bit more, let's go, faster, faster! You gotta have that kind of mentality. We had homies like that. All our homies were like, that. all our scratch, a whole scratch circle, invisible scratch pickles, everyone was like that. Nobody was a pussy. We're like, fuck that, fast, fast. You think that's fast? Go faster, motherfucker. Let's go. And that's what made us get faster. You almost got to, like, just be that warrior, a wax warrior. So that's the, <laughs> that's why I titled today's class Ready for War. You know, because we was, like, on battle mode. We was on battle mode. And then, you know, later, of course, it translated into we have a lot of, um, speed now so it's like okay now you could now you can play with all the different tempos and stuff now we can be uh, poetic with our speed we could bust it out whenever we want you know what i mean it's like a boxer or uh, like you know like you see those martial artists they're real slow and shit they're, they're relaxed and shit and all of a sudden when the time is right <laughs> fucking fat ass super fast ass combo comes out so that's you know that's when you can control your speed and shit so that's very important Type in a one if you guys get what I'm talking about. Type in a two if it's like, man, I don't need to do all of that. Let's see who's in the chat. Osmosis. DJ Frank Dog. What up? What up? Norman, Andrew, Carlos, Swindab, King Tragic, Cymatic. What's up? Sure Shot, Kyle, Tripmaster. You guys know what I'm talking about. Dan, what's up? What's up? Master DJ Loco. All right, so that's kind of like uh, the thing today. I just want to get that out. I, I'm, I've said it many times before, but sometimes you got to hear it again. Let's go, let's go. You need that, that, that energy, you know what I mean? That energy is like what can push you over the top. Cause sometimes it's like, oh, I don't want to scratch. You know, that's pussy shit. If you want to be a pussy scratcher, be a pussy scratcher. Oh, I'm going just do the simple scratches. Okay. Man, fuck that shit. I want to see some I want to see some martial arts on this shit. That's me. You could be that shit. You could be whatever you want to be. It's up to you. I'm just I just want to be able to fucking do it all. I like doing I like having a variety of fucking going fast and slow and all this shit. I just like it like that. I'm just speaking for those that want that extra a, a, a little advantage of, you know, I can scratch any beat. Whatever beat you put on, let's go. Let's do it. I'm going to scratch all that shit, you know. So I hope that helps. I remember there was a time when I was going, I was like, oh, man, that's, that's fast. 140 is fast. 140 is fast, but I was like, I'm going to just keep doing that little trick. 140, uh, let's go 141 now. Boom, boom, boom. 142 after a while. I was up to like, I think I was at like going to almost 160. Uh, uh, this is when I was first getting into speed. This was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that almost sounds like I'm talking about uh, methamphetamine. When I was getting into speed. Oh, when was this shit? This was like, this is when Transforming first came out. 1985, 86, 87, 88. We would always say that. Oh, what was your fastest tempo? Blah, blah, blah. Now it's like shit, man. 200 is normal now, shit. 180, what is it? 80 plus 80, 160, 190, 90, 200. That's like the normal shit. <sighs> Let's use in the chat. This guy said, who is faster, you or Mixmaster Mike? Man, <laughs> there's different techniques. Like, there's certain techniques I could go really fast on. But he's really good on that. That scribble shit, when he vibrates his hand, that <laughs> He got it on both hands. He's like <laughs> He's got two chicks. <laughs> Muggsy, what's up? DJ Pilla. Sandy B the dude. Oh, this is all my fam here. I see all these names. Yes. Nicholas, what's up? What's up? 
This guy said, give me a good tip for a better drumming. I'm stuck in the same pattern. What country are you from? I like I like the uh, the uh, the English words mixed up. That that's cool. I like that. Let's see here. Drumming. I did a, I did something. This is a secret. I didn't I never talk about this scratch, but it's called a yo-yo. This is a yo-yo scratch. This is just for you guys. This is a yo-yo right here. What's up? What's up? To all the guys that are here, because I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal a secret that I don't like to talk about. This is called a yo-yo drum scratch. All right, so let's say this is a well. Let's you know what we'll do, we'll find a drum kit, a drum sound, a drum sound. Let's find a drum sound. Let's see. Yep. Let me see if I can. Can you hear this shit? It's kind of low. The volume's though. Let me find a better one, hold on. <laughs> Trying to find a, a taboo. This is Shortcut made this um, little break. That sounds kind of cool. Trying to, I'm trying to find a taboo, like a s taboo snare kick. There's one right there. It's kind of low, but you get the idea. Okay, this is a, oh, I call this a yo-yo. Tell me if you can figure this out. Anybody figure that out? Okay, I'm going to tell you a secret. Type in a one if you want me to reveal the secret. Type in a two if it's like, nah, I know that. I know that trick. In the meantime, I'm going to look for a better. Maybe this one. Okay, I'm going to reveal that secret. Let me find a better drum thing. Hold on. One that's more pronounced. Ah, I got one. Scratchy Seal, of course. Speaking of Super Seal, Bizarro is coming out in about three weeks. I got one. A trusty old school Super Seal, but the Stokio version, because it's in a. Let's find the drum kit on this. Perfect record for drumming practice, because it got. Stuff you need. Let's see. Here it goes. Taboo. Taboo. Here's the pattern again. Notice anything there, what I'm doing? DJ hypnotized in the house. He said a boomerang, pretty close, pretty close, pretty close. But it's not. Okay, type in a, type in an X if you know how to do a seesaw scratch. Type in a C, uh, X if you know how to do a seesaw scratch. That's this scratch. <laughs> if you know how to do that scratch, type in an X. Okay, good, good, good. We got nerds in here. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so what I'm doing here, this is a yo-yo. This is a yo-yo drum pattern. So I'm doing a fucking seesaw. I'm doing a seesaw on the drums. But I'm doing it uh, with, the, with the kick and the snare. But I'm making it land on the snare, you know, to make it funky. Of course, you got to make it, like, on the right spots. But that's what I'm doing. So practice that. All right, that's it. Class is over. That's a bonus motherfucking secret I never want to talk about, ever. But you guys got it. 
because you guys always watch Wisdom of Wax. You guys are like hardcore wax warriors. I love it. Don't tell that shit to nobody. That's just for you guys. That's a fun one right there. I'd be like, I'd be doing that shit and the motherfucker's like, what is that? I remember I showed the crew and they were like, huh? I was like, yes, that's that's the that's the reaction when I get when the visible scratch pickles can go, what what? What was that? <laughs> so I reveal that to you guys today. I love you guys. So I'm gonna just I have to shoot it out to you guys. The universe God is like, you better shoot that out to people, or you're gonna get something in return. So I'm like, all right. All right. Do I have to? All right. It's out now. Fuck. I'm going to delete this video. I'm deleting this motherfucking video. Let's see who's in the chat. My man Hypnotize, Brown Dwarf. Type in a, um, type in an A if you like that scratch. Type in a B if you're like, man, come on. I know that scratch. I know that one. Type in an A if you, uh, if you dig that type of secret shit right there. Sometimes a lot of the secret shit I got, I'm like, man, I don't know if I want to fucking hear. <laughs> I don't know if I want to see that. Let people see that. <laughs> All right. So I hope you guys uh, got a couple things today from this video. The speed shit is very important. Just keep doing that shit. Slowly, gradually speed up the beat. You will get faster, guaranteed. You, your mind won't notice it. And you got to tell yourself, like, I can scratch fast. Anything positive you could tell yourself is your your molecules don't know nothing they're just going to believe whatever the heck you say so you say all things good f about yourself and it's going to happen all right <sighs> Ooh, nt green said b you must be hella sick then that's dope the yo yo you can also do it on on a buka. That's cool because it got it's like it's it's on the other side. It's like a reverse how you call it a reverse seesaw. You can you can combine it all too. Kind of confused now. I was like, "What?" You can come up with some crazy stuff. I'm just like kind of making stuff up right now. Now I'm gonna go back in the lab and work on that. But yeah, yeah. Auntie said, "Shade 45." Woo, man! Scratchy Seal has a show on Shade 45 every week now. Congratulations, Scratchy Seal. He just did a, his first Shade 45 show yesterday, and I'm so honored to be his DJ. Playing scratch music on, on a hip-hop radio station that goes all over the world. That's, that's a dope thing, man. <sighs> so that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> he said, you don't delete this video. I need to recap. All right, let's, re let's do the recap. What did I say? It's like Same with drumming. Speed it up every five minutes. Gradually, gradually. That way, but that way you don't notice it. I was jumping ahead there. So anyway, uh, what else? That was the first part of this of this uh, program. 
No, it wasn't. It was this right here. This was the thing. I was trying to talk about this. When you're scratching, look for cleaner areas to scratch. I was like, what? That was, that was a weird one because yesterday I did a scratch from this guy. He, uh, he emailed me. I mean, he wrote a message in there and, and talked about this scratch. The, well, this is from yesterday. There was a... And uh, after a while, I was, wait a minute, instead of using the tip of the scratch, go inside a little more. You know what I mean? Because that, that was what I was talking about earlier. Sometimes certain scratches sound better inside the sample, Sit like, like the boomerang, right? That's the tip. But if you move it in, it's, it sounds better. like more smoother so that was the other part of the class I'm just doing a recap right now and then of course the last part of the class was the yo-yo scratch yeah, I might give you guys three things today that's cool that's cool so remember scratching syllables scratching drums is the same thing you know and gradually speed the shit up get faster and faster i think that's the thing sometimes when you uh are doing something that uh i hate to say it when it's like a, you're only at a certain speed it's like your um, vocabulary is smaller so try to widen your vocabulary with the uh, being able to go really slow and really fast too. Some, I mean, you know, you could be in that middle area. That's cool if you just want to be like that. But you know, for the champs, the champs want to be at every tempo, every different <sighs> time signature, all that shit. So, I hope this uh, class has helped you out. What do you guys think? Let's see, let's see what the chat is saying. He said, "Just the tip." I know, I know. I could have. I said so many. I need my. Um, that's what she said, but. Gotta hook that up. I'll be pressing that all day. Everything I'm saying is fucking <laughs> in that category. Ah, let's see. Zoe Geist. Xing Crossing. Cabs MDA. Ah, let's see. Type in a one if you uh, got something from the class. Type in a two if it's like, yeah, I know this shit. I know this shit. I want to see who the advanced guys are in here. And I'm still learning too. I would have typed in a one if I was watching the other day. Fuck it. There was something in there. I didn't trip off that one scratch. You got something in there? I'm going to delete that yo yo scratch. I don't, I don't need nobody to know about that one. <laughs> you can do it on a fresh because a fresh has two sounds. Right? So you can think of one as a snare. One is this, uh, you can make the fresh the snare or you can make the shh the snare, whatever. All right, love y'all. I'll see you guys on the next Wisdom of Wax, 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 Wax. I'm going to go head out and get in the lab. We're on uh, break record number 57. Woo! Big shout to Tom Caddy. Threw a lot of beats on this, on this record. Man, excited. We're about to be... Um, 58 break records coming out real soon. And I just got word from um, the record pressing plant. The Super Seal Bizarro is coming in in like three to four weeks. What is the date today? Wednesday, April 17th. It'll probably be here in three weeks. Three weeks. What is April 17th? Four weeks at the latest. So whatever. May 15th. May 15th it'll be here. And right now, this is the cheapest you can get it right now because the pre-sales are always on sale so get that on djcuber.com right now and good luck to everyone that uh gets it because the last one super seal inverted it's sold out the thing is worth a lot of money now it's like a freaking it's like i was saying on twitch the other day it's like a comic book and shit some of these are like
collectible stamps when you <laughs> as time goes on these records get more expensive yeah no first pressing of super seal bizarro the only super seal with all the sounds backwards and then the other side has the crazy ah sound that is impervious to skipping because it's just whole the whole side of the record is ah and then on the left side of the record is all skipless uh variety of sounds crazy crazy i can't wait i cannot wait i cannot wait all right y'all later and uh tell me tell me if you can hear that scratchy seal show from the xm radio what is it um shade 45 with destroy let me know if you guys can hear that because i would like to repost that i don't know how to repost that i mean i, I can repost the bit of it but i want to have i like when he talks about it. it's like all right up next we got scratchy seal i want to hear all that shit too you know all right, see you in the chat, Magwell. See you later. Crossing Zool, the funky trumpet. What's up? Funky trumpet. Muggsy, Osmosis, Dan, Edgar, Jamil, Andrew, hypnotized in the house. Brown Dwarf. All right, y'all, later. I'm going to scratch this. This beat is sick, man. This is a dope beat right here. I like this beat. What's up? What's up? This is the latest record. Ayahuasca breaks. Funky trumpet said, "Keep the beat going."
What's up? 